My last scam video made the deck pretty good, but what happens if we add blue and forcible? That must make the deck better, right? Let's see. Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to another edition of Justin trying to make Grief Reanimate work in Vintage. Uh, I'm actually fresh off of Vintage 5.0 League with the mono black, quote-unquote, storm uh, scam package. Uh, Death Threat Shaman, Dark Rituals, Wheels, Shieldreds. Uh, this is going to be a different attempt for a different direction. Uh, the... Other deck is quite good against uh, Workshop, Initiative, or maybe not Workshop, like Initiative and Bazaar and those kind of decks. Um, but I would assume struggles against Blue Combo. And so I'm trying to play a deck that has Forces and Blue Spells. Uh, so we're going to try this version today. It is a Death Shadow deck. So we are going to play things like Street Wraith, uh, Watery Grave uh, to do us damage here. And uh, we also have to pair that up with the Reanimate Grief Package. We are slim enough that we can just get about get away with a coherent uh, blue forcible package. 5, 8, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 14, 19. Just, I thought I had a 20, but 5, 8, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16. I, whatever, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, this is easily solvable. This is, this is, I don't need to count anything. It's 19. All right, fine. It's 19. Uh, 19 is like a little low uh, than you, a little lower than you typically like for this kind of like blue deck, but we are, you know, uh, we also have four grief for reanimate. So we have a lot of interaction uh, and hopefully we'll be able to make some kind of aggro plan work here with our bow masters and our death shadows along with uh, reanimating griefs and street wraiths. And of course, our opponent's creatures. One of the biggest uh, strengths of the, Grief reanimate shell is actually against mono white initiative where you get to reanimate their initiative creatures, which is quite, quite good. Um, what else? What else? What else? So sideboard, I have some anti more anti combo cards also to help up, uh, get up our blue count. We've got some removal for mono white. We have some null rods for jewel. I have a snow covered swamp for if we were to face a uh, artifact deck of some kind. I have leyline jailer, lantern, needle, and tabernacle for the bizarre decks. I have, don't currently have anything really specifically for workshop, like free uh, fair workshop. Um, hopefully, we can get underneath them and, and cast some cheap spells, but um, it could could be a problem. We'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just jam this list tonight and see if adding blue to the grief scam package makes it better or worse. Um, I'm actually I've been super super impressed with the mono black quote unquote deck, slashing for you know, green for death right, red for wheel, and blue for power. So. We'll see what this list can do for us tonight in this Vintage League. I'll see you in round one. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. All right, here we go, round one. Hopefully I have the right deck. I do. I have Reanimate, but no Grief. I have Force, Mystical, Snuff Out, Daze. If we get Wastelanded, it's... Pretty bad. I wish I could Mystical for Grief. I could just Mystical for Ancestral and play with Days Force, maybe. This hand kind of seems bad to me. It has Force and Days and stuff, but I don't think it really... like. I can't Mystical if I get Wastelanded. I don't know. It covers like a lot of stuff, though. Let's give it a shot. I th I have a feeling that this hand is not actually keepable, but I kind of want to find out. So, I guess we technically could save our watery grave by like dazing our mystical, but mana crypt. Well. That feels like a pretty good day's target, so. Days already extracting value. No one in Vintage plays around days. There's not, there's not that much days running around. 
Uh, I will use my floating mana to mystical. I won't actually be able to protect this ancestral, but gotta do it. I wish we had another blue spell, but I feel like we're going to be wishing we had another blue spell quite a lot. Ancient Tomb, uh-oh. Have I made a great mistake here? This uh, could be bad for me. Watch them next slam a three ball. Oh, no. I have made a grave mistake here. I simply thought that Dazing a... Maybe I should I'll leave that untapped so I can force something. Dazing a Mana Crypt would be good for me, but I have been workshopped. I think we're just super dead. <laughs> I I, uh, I have very low hopes for us here. Yeah, something like that sounds right. All right, so if I draw a land, I mean, I really like to just draw a wasteland, but <sighs> we're super dead. We are extremely dead. This is kind of something I was fearing here. I didn't really, <sighs> I don't know. When my opponent leads Mana Crypt, no land, it just feels like I'm supposed to daze that, but I could be wrong. Definitely came back to bite me here, though. Construct. Sure. If I could have... I mean, it doesn't even help me if I could do that. Maybe I'm just supposed to kill this construct right now. It'll be so confined on mana. Okay, hit a land. This is good. I have two dress downs in the deck for constructs, but dress down also costs three mana, so I think I have to fetch here so that I don't get needled. So I'll get an underground C. Definitely gonna wait. Uh, on this Ancestral until I know for sure I don't want to use Spell Pierce. This kind of still feels like a winnable game. If we don't, if we like don't have to Spell Pierce anything, don't get Wastelanded, Ancestral into land, dress down. Maybe. Uh oh, Soul Ring makes me feel like we're going to have to Spell Pierce something. Oh, or are we going to have to force a Golos maybe? No, they can't Golos. Golos requires six. Shadow Spear. Yeah, I don't care about Shadow Spear. I guess it technically can save a construct from Dress Down. All right. If we get like a big Death Shadow, that can stall this board too. This still feels winnable, actually. My opponent hasn't made the strongest plays off of their start. Street Wraith Reanimate Wasteland. Well, I do probably need a Dress Down, right? Or a Death Shadow. So if I Street Wraith, I go to six. My Death Shadow is 7. They equipped and it trades. I mean, I have to draw a Death Shadow or a Dress Down or a Time Walk. I could also reanimate. I just don't think that buys me a turn versus Trample, unfortunately. Could 
Gush. So Gush lets me draw Death Shadow. I want to leave black. I mean, I have to draw Death Shadow, right? <laughs> I I have drawn all four reanimates instead. I don't think we were gonna draw the cards we needed to win that game. I do think that was probably supposed to be a mulligan. I'm I'm still not sure about the mana crypt. If I had known my opponent was on shops, I probably would not have dazed. Well, I hit none of my good cards, right? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I don't really want to bring in Null Rod. I want to bring in Snow Covered and Dismember and maybe Negation and then take out Flusterstorm, Misstep. I mean, the forces are going to be so bad here. But... I mean, it's just these cards are... I mean, Mystical doesn't even look great. I don't think I want to play... I mean, maybe I just keep these for blue count. And then I don't play Snuff Out because it doesn't hit Nettlesis token. This is probably fine. This is good. On the play against Shops, you have some nice game with uh, Grief. This has force. See, this is also another problem with adding force to your grief shell is that you really just end up with some non-functional hands. This is a keep, but like I'm not going to grief here. I'm probably going to cycle Street Wraith. I'm not sure you even want to play Forest with your Grief Package. It might just be too much. Too much uh, not progressing your own game plan. But I'm never going to really pass up on this hand of three lands, including a basic and a Forest for shops. So the same hand as my opponent had last time. Maybe they'll slam a Golo so we can Force it and then draw Reanimate. Karn. know how much of that matters but it feels like i'm just supposed to force it anyways mana crypt ancient tomb huh i mean i'm super far behind in this game right i have nothing going on dress down Yeah. Kind of feels like I'm going to pass through here and force their next play. I don't really like the look of what's happening in this game. It feels like we're not even playing on the same format. I think I care about that. I do care about that. When this equipment enters the battlefield, create a 1-1. One, one. Can't dress down stopping that. All right. I need... God, I don't even know. Another grief? I guess we're just supposed to do... I feel like we're supposed to do this, but... It doesn't really do anything for us. All right. <laughs> no! Follow-up saga is so good here. All right, I mean, we're super dead. If uh, my opponent's aggro shop stack, they drew Wasteland off the top? 
If my opponent's aggro shops deck makes me feel like we're not doing something powerful enough, we might have a very large problem here. I mean, like, can you really afford to be pit to not play Force of Will three lands against the deck that is, like, built to play a bunch of Sphere Resistances and Wastelands? Like, we have to keep that hand. Oh. No, a Legacy deck would be better. We'd have Brainstorm. The double wasteland. All right, we drew shadow. That's got to be our best card. Yeah, I mean, that's just normal. My opponents win all their flips and I lose all my flips. They have one four straight flips. Oh, uh, I just uh, hope the shadow is going to grow fast enough. I think they're just going to overwhelm us. We're still probably going to have to draw dress down. And we only have one dress down left in our deck. Because our first one got exiled to force. Unfortunately, we... Are just super doomed. <laughs> well, I, I just thought I hit F two through that. Bone Masters? Yeah, maybe. I mean, our best draw is like second Death Shadow, right? I mean, our best draw is probably Ancestral into, t into multiple things, but that's like always the case. <sighs> okay. Well, yes, I definitely would like a dress down. Dress down would be quite good. That is not a good attack, right? Maybe I can't survive this attack, so maybe that is not a good play. I mean, I can't even survive this attack, right? So it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, that was horrible. Not a good start. Okay, round two. I wonder if we're against Mana Drain Ring Control. That would be quite fun. Here I have too many Death Shadows and my, too many two drops. This hand just doesn't look good. Maybe without cantrips, this deck just doesn't work. Maybe we just need cantrips. Adding four preordains would definitely help our blue count. <laughs> This just looks really bad, right? This is at least better. Might just need preordains. All right, show me your secret, Sean. Are you still playing the ring? Yep, the one ring. Black Lotus, turn one ring is what they want to do here. They have a force of will, but no blue card because Sean doesn't believe in blue counts.
All right, I'm just going to take the ring and leave them with mana and tendrils. I guess we got to be careful not to get tendrils out, but... Might be tough for us to play around natural tendrils, to be honest. Like, I can go to 13 and not be able to play shadow. I mean, we have another grief, so I can take tendrils on my next grief. Yeah. But I mean, I'm going to have to probably, like, fetch underground sea, right? Then for anyone, for the person who was asking why we're playing four Street Wraith, this is why it's quite hard to get to Shadow. To be fair, we drew one of our Underground Seas instead of a Fetch Land. We could play Shadow this turn if we had two Fetch Lands, right? Not that we would maybe want to do that against Natty Tendrils. Well, my opponent can, like, Tendrils me for lethal if I go, like, too low to play Shadow, right? Are they just going to go Tendrils? Oh, cool. They top deck Citadel. Fantastic. It's going to be one of those nights. Chain of Vapor, Mana Crypt, Brainstorm. You got it. They're just going to put Tendrils on top of their library and kill me from here. We are dead. We are deterministically dead. All they need to do is put Tendrils on top of my library. Because it's not good. Mana Crypt doesn't cast any spells in our deck. This is not hard. All they have to do is put the Tendrils on top. I don't know what we're thinking about. How do I rate the One Ring? It's fine. It's just... Oh, top deck Citadel, huh? All right. He's going to die to Null Rod is what he's going to die to. Null Rod, Negation, Flusterstorm, out with... this. I mean, this, of all matchups, should be quite a good matchup. I think this matchup should be quite strong. Opponent's kind of playing this ring control deck with Tinker in it. Got a lot of free wins with Tinker, but ring? I don't know. Well, we're hydrating. We're going to need alcohol to get through this league, I think. It's not going well. Bluster, not great. But the good news is my opponent's entire deck is based around a card that gets turned off by Null Rod, so there's some upsides here. But our deck is so disjointed and has no way to seam it together with cantrips, so it might just be we have to get super lucky and draw the right cards, right? I have played cantrips in the past. They typically go in this, like, grief reanimate slot. I never really liked Death Shadow and Vintage before. This hand looks quite good. Might even be reanimating our Delver on turn one. Though our negation does not protect our Null Rod from force, but maybe my opponent won't have a blue card again because, you know, 13 is totally a large enough number to play Force of Will. 
Uh, so I can go to 15, uh, to 13. So I might as well go to Death Shadow territory. 15, 10, yeah. Also, they don't play Mental Misstep because that card's bad. So there's a lot of things going for us. We got a lot of things going for us here, but we'll see. Seven card hand. Tormod's Crypt, nice magic card. I wonder if we should wait on this Null Rod when I can daze them. Nah, I think I'd rather just play it. Next turn we can hold up hard cast negation, so. They did have force, pitching fluster. But I mean, we have a lot of cards that counter uh, an overing anyways, so not too big a deal. They're bringing in Tormod's Crypt for our four reanimates. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Ooh, Tundra Gaming. Time walking. Yeah, I'm not dazing that. Polluted Delta. Pedal? Oh god, are they going to tinker with these back up because they have Pedal now? Nope, it's the ring. Nice card. It's sick four drop. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. lethal next turn because i have three extra damage off this it sure is all right now my deck's looking good now my deck is doing it they did probably bring in swords to plowshares for what it's worth oh, i almost ran out of watery graves there because we switched Swords? Chain. No. Die. We found the good matchup, baby. Oh, nice play. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. God, dazing a four drop, baby. Negation look good. Man, this hand looks quite good. I'm lucky. Oh, uh, we're going to get turn one ringed and lose. Oh, I got to keep this. Yep, turn one ring. And we're going to lose. And then I'm going to have to hear about it in the Discord. God bless. <sighs> Unlucky. It's okay. Maybe we'll draw Null Rod or something.
I think our wasteland's kind of bad, so. I think everything's kind of bad, to be honest. I think we're super dead. Unfortunately, my opponent's going to draw about 8,000 cards and we're going to lose. Definitely have to just cast um, Brainstorm. Oh, God, are we getting, getting Opposition Agent? Are they playing around Stifle? Fair. Only get to put one of these cards back. Ooh, we drew the Null Rod. I have uh, a sneaking suspicion we won't resolve this Null Rod, but we can try. We have, what, Double Days Grief? Maybe we can. Maybe this is winnable. All right, so let's. Gr should we grief pitching reanimate? That way we have a threat. No, we should. Oh. We could just grief pitching shadow and then reanimate the grief later, too. I think we're supposed to keep the reanimate. Force my grief. This is mana drain my grief. This is going to suck if I get forced. I have to jam Null Rod, though, right? I can't give them another turn. Days my grief. That's a play. Maybe we should have. Days my grief and then grief pitch reanimate and play null rod. Though I think we're super winning now, right? They have an active ring ticking down. They have two mana and we have double. Well, I guess days is not good against mana drain. <laughs> All they need to do is have a chain of vapor. Unfortunately, Days is not Force of Will. Maybe we should have Dazed our Grief. Doesn't seem that bad. It would probably mean I would cast Grief. Oh, they're just going to get protection. and Oh, so they stop dying? Sure. This is, this is acceptable. I don't think I care. Do we force this? Probably not. Probably not. Pay in days does not help us. My opponent has two mana. I can't replay while this thing is on the stack. I could have waited longer, but... It doesn't matter. I, I don't care about discarding. I just care about putting a 3-2 in play and starting to clock my opponent. Like, think about it. Every turn I have this in play is going to be, hopefully, be less time they'll have to draw out of this. I don't care. I don't care about protection. I need to get my creature in before, because <laughs> it's summoning sick. And I don't care about protection. It doesn't matter. Now, if you had said play around Flusterstorm and maybe draw a land drop for turn, then maybe. Like, my opponent can't draw cards for the rest of this game, and we have pretty good force, uh, counter suite. I think eventually we'll kill them. So, like, there's some reasons to wait on the reanimate. Okay, three dazes is, like, that's a lot of dazes. They hit mana. 
Eventually, they're going to draw a chain of vapor, and we're going to be very sad. True. Really, we have the perfect number of dazes. Bowmasters, at least it's an instant. Gotta get this on yield. All right, I think this is definitely Bowmaster. Swords? Sure. Don't really care. I got my clock in play. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. We super don't care about getting swords there. We only have a few counter spells. This is actually incredible. This might be like half of the blue cards in our deck. <laughs> I mean, we could be drawing Wastelands, too. Wastelands look super good here. We've drawn very odd subsection of our deck, to be perfectly honest. But this is the problem with the null ring. For, the, the, the null ring. The one ring, everyone. This is the problem with the one ring. The one ring is a card draw engine... That gets shut off by Collector Roof and Null Rod and Pithy Needle. Which is, I would say, not acceptable for a card draw engine. Lots and lots of decks should be playing Null Rods right now. Like, I'm playing Null Rod in the sideboard of my Tinker decks that are, like, Volt Key decks. <laughs> Are we upping our Flusterstorm count here? We are in the, in the deep tanks. All right, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Land tendrils. Yog will would sure be bad if someone dazed that. Oh, my God, the days is so good. <laughs> God bless. This does mean I can, can't play. I mean, I can still play three counter spells. So. Days, not not bad against this deck. <laughs> Wonder why they played out the soul ring. That didn't seem necessary. Probably doesn't matter, though. Mm, this gets Chain of Vapor. Maybe I daze this and, and Spell Pierce it. I mean, it gets Land Swords to Plowshares, which I think is not great for us. It seems like a very free day's target, and bringing back the water gear gives, gives us a death shadow. The ability to play a death shadow, which we did top deck a death shadow. Yeah, I think I'm interested in days plus spell pierce on this.
And then if they fluster storm, I can daze again. The problem with letting the demonic resolve is that it gives them the opportunity to play a chain with as much mana as they want whenever they want, which I think is bad for us. I don't think we want to give them that option. Oh my god. That feels like a card that we should have played before casting our demonic tutor. Well, I'm glad we got our day's value in. So. Holy moly. Swords again. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Not like thrilled about that. It turns off my ability to play another Death Shadow, but. Yeah, you could force it. <sighs> I feel like forcing this is horrible. Man. Like, if their last card's Fluster Storm, I guess we should lose our hand. I don't know. I feel like three cards is too many cards here. Though the problem is like an end of turn resolve chain lets them activate into activate throw three. I guess that puts them close to I don't know how many times they can actually activate after. They can't cast Citadel because they don't have an extra black source. I don't have drawn any Wastelands. Huh. No Wastelands. Kind of a weird set of draws. I don't even have an additional... Well, I mean, we only have one draw spell in our deck, right? We have two two draw spells in our deck. We have Brainstorm and Ancestral. So it's not like we have draw spells. Oh, we have Gush, I guess. Gush would be pretty good here. Oh, up the clock by one turn. They don't have a third Underground Sea, right? Oh my god, they have a third Underground Sea. All right, fair enough. Is it time for the Citadel? Or the Sphinx? Or the Chain of Vapor? I mean, we just have to force, right? Maybe they have hard cast force now. If we lose this game, I'll be so sad because my opponent had every ability to play around days in all these positions and then just didn't. But we uh, just have not been able to attack for lethal here. Pretty happy I didn't counter the swords considering my opponent just played like ancestral into best card. But maybe the chain doesn't matter, and I'm I'm being baited. It's possible. Like, what do they do? Draw one card, and they also have to beat their... Eh, it's probably bad. Ooh, wow. Kind of feel like that's a good draw. <laughs> We've drawn all of our counter magic. Oh, man. What a game of Magic the Gathering we have been witnessed here. I mean, we got an orc army. You would think an orc army would be a large and in charge unit, but it is in fact a 1-1. One -one. Hey, another orc. Should we orc now to get an extra damage in? Probably. Hard cast force, I assume. Mana drain. You got it. 
<laughs> I tried. Look how much mana they have. Imagine if they had that mana drain off of a Talarian Academy for their Demonic Tutor. I don't think we were supposed to win this game. I think we drew just weirdly enough that we were not supposed to win this game, which is kind of fun. Grief. Man, are we even allowed to play Grief here? I kind of think the answer is no, right? I don't think so. Grief does not look like the does not look like it's it. So if my opponent does have a counter spell, we can never beat a counter spell. Like a counter spell plus something good. Though I guess unlocking the ring at five life might not be good anymore. Though <laughs> so they could always go like mox mox tendrils, right? That could definitely happen. That would be quite the blowout. <laughs> I am at eight. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, sacked the last watery grave. True. At any point, they can fog us with the ring. Fair. Uh oh. Infinite mana. Not infinite, but Manamo plus Talarian Academy make a bajillion mana. What is this? Is they have a Seagate restoration? What's happening? What? We got a portal? Oh my god, are they gonna cast mana, mana, uh, mana drain with just enough mana? What? Oh no, they have untap into force of will. My opponent just played for portal to Phyrexia with force of will backup. <sighs> All right. So they can reanimate Bowmaster to get two blockers for grief. Well, there's my wastelands that I could have had the entire game. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I feel like we've drawn so badly. <laughs> Which is what happens when you don't play any preordains in your deck. So they probably just reanimate Bowmaster so that they can have two blockers for grief. Yeah, things are bad, by the way. Now we're going to draw our gush. <laughs> oh no, they could get Street Wraith. Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! <laughs> I hate this game. We've drawn so poorly. Oh, they have Force of Will as their last card? Awesome. We're actually just dead. Unbelievable. Imagine if we draw these Wastelands earlier. That's just... Gross game. All right, here we go. Let's let's continue. I have a wasteland versus Squee and double Street Wraith Death Shadow. I think this is this is a keepable hand. I'm in. I'm in for this hand. This is this feels like a hand that could beat Squee. Maybe. I mean, they could just put 16 free power and play again, but. I'm ready. Here it comes. How much power chat? Yep. That's some amount of free power. Can I play a Death Shadow on turn one here? Is it going to be 10 free power? It's unbelievable. 
It's actually, it's actually crazy. I don't know if they've ever put in less than six power against me. Snapback? They, they had 10 free power, blue card, force of will, green card, force of vigor. How is this deck remotely fair? All right, so if I go Street Wraith, Street Wraith down to 10, that makes this a 3-3. Three, three. And then if I fetch, it makes it a 4-4. Four, four. If I fetch and get a Grave. So what if I fetch, get a Grave, and Street Wraith? That is 3-5-11. This makes this a 2-2? Two, two? Wait, no, that can't be right. Uh... Four, five down to eleven down to nine makes this a four. Only makes it a four four. I was doing the math wrong. I need to play this while I can resolve it though. So we get the cycle at least one, and then we have to at least. I think I'm gonna fetch a a a, a basic, or a, sorry, an underground C. And then I can, I can cycle to eleven, block a root walla, and take nine, and go to two. How does that help me though? Doesn't. I guess I can just do this now and get it, uh, and then I can cycle Street Wraith and block. I don't think that's good for me, but. Well, it doesn't need to be a 4 4, it just needs to be a 2 2, right? I can't imagine winning this game. If I block here, I go to two, and then I need to draw and resolve a another shadow. Or I can cycle a straight race, block a hollow one, take eight. Doesn't help me because I go to one. Because I have the cycle of Street Wraith. And I'm going to die. So I mean, I have to just block here. But now I can't cycle my Street Wraith. Oh, I also have a fetch. So that doesn't help either. Because that doesn't actually let me use it. So I have to like legitimately top deck a Southern Stuff Shadow. And they have to not draw a... No, they also have a Basking Root Wall. So it doesn't work either. Nothing works. I can't. I actually just with the way I played this, I can't beat their hand. <sighs> so frustrating. I just had no counterplay to this, right? I guess I could have double cycled Street Wraith to try to find Force of Will for a Hollow One. Maybe that was what I was supposed to do. I mean, there's no shot that they... I just can't kill... I can... I might have a snuff out in my deck, right? So I can't actually kill this Rootwalla. Why don't I have a Berserk? Yeah, I mean, of course... Uh, all right. So I get to bring in Leyline, Jailer, Dismember, Needle, Tabernacle, 
This is where we get to take forces out of our deck. Dress downs come out of our deck. Gush comes out of our deck. Spell Pierce comes out of our deck. Uh, we probably do want like snuff outs. Mystical comes out of our deck. I mean, we do look better post board for what it's worth. Going and boarding like this means I can't protect my ley line against an upkeep vigor on turn one, but it's probably fine. No, you don't want to cut misstep in matchups where your goal is to strip mine them. Uh, because of four noxious revival. Well, if my opponent doesn't have immediate uh, vigor, we have days back up. Just gonna do tap days into sapphire pass. The reason is because I don't want my days to get mind break trapped. If I days like an end of turn vigor, maybe I'm not sure if that even matters. Wasteland. Well, now now it will matter if they drew vigor this turn. That would be pretty funny. Because <laughs> then I can't like hard cast days on my upkeep so maybe i was just supposed to play both mocks in if they had a vigor they would have cast it in the upkeep right so reality i shouldn't care about mind break trap vigor so i should have just played both mocks in it was just bad play i probably might have to daze a hollow one anyways right i mean i'm Already losing to lizard wizards. Maybe not. Here's a lizard wizard. They did pitch a negation in a, f a wasteland. Here is a hollow one. I'm going to negate. I'm going to today's a hollow one. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You got a hollow one. I will top deck Tabernacle with the Pendrel Veil. That does not seem like a good combination with my Leyline of the Void. Not that they would have cards in their graveyard anyways, so maybe it doesn't matter. Four turn clock. I need creatures. Ponder's not bad. Am I getting missed up? I sure I sure am. I probably shouldn't have played that wasteland out. We saw how well I top deck last game. Drew a grief. That blocks the root walla. It does buy me a turn if it resolves. What do you got in your hand, friend? Is this a snapback? No way. Oh, they're going to Noxious Revival the Watery Grave? So that I draw Watery Grave next turn? Alright. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to use this to reanimate this game either. I guess I could theoretically... That's not good. Just take it. Am I going to get... Okay. That's a good draw. Big butt on that boy. We have successfully stalled.
Dismember. Ooh, I'm definitely not casting that on my turn. I don't want to randomly get negated, but I am going to cast that in their upkeep, I think. All right, okay. Another one? I think even if they have force, I can just take the one damage, right? I should have just played it first. That way I knew if it resolved. I don't know why I'm playing so fast. I should just play a little bit slower. Like if they have forcible here, I get take one extra damage for no reason. Is this what it feels like to be a doomsday player? Just hard cast in some street raids? Fury. So they are going to get in for one. Turned off my force. Do I have to not attack? To play around another fury? Kind of hate that idea. Yeah, I think I'll just die to another Fury. I have two attacks to win with Menace, so... Oh, I guess I have attack here. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely cast that. They have negation, it's fine. It was just like one turn where I could get Fury. I guess I didn't have to get negated, but... All right, we got a game. Let's go. Is that our first game win of the night? Or did we get one versus Sean? We might have gotten one versus Sean. Uh, the live music and free. Oh, why didn't I board in Soul Guide Lantern? Did no one tell me to board in Soul Guide Lantern? Do we not need that card, chat? <laughs> what is the point of having... All of these people, if I don't even get my Soul Guide Lantern warded in. Where's the chat advantage? Why don't you need it? Well, that looks bad. It's Mulligan. Come on, Leyline. Bruh, what is this? I mean, this has to be a keep. No, no, this has to be a keep. I don't have a basic island, right? So it's just better to play this. No, I mean, this has a... a, a, a what? So, should I fetch a Underground Sea and Ancestral in their upkeep here? So, just like respecting Tabernacle, right? Oh, I do have a basic island. Well, that's, uh, that's awkward. Force. Uh, uh, oh, they just... That's their plan? Well, if I just go... I feel like I just go Wasteland, Needle, Bizarre. That seems right to me.
I mean, now they have to find a vigor to play the game. What's a guy to do? I'll draw a wasteland off the top. Grief their last card. I actually think that's good because they don't have any squeeze in the yard. And I guess unless it's another wasteland. Like, hitting a root wall here is actively good for me. I might even misstep it. Yeah. I mean, this is still not a favorable situation, but... What would what would make this good if we draw like fetch land shadow? Wasteland? Oh this feels very bad. And I'm not sure I'm supposed to do it, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. So if I put back time walk. Bowmasters and Ponder Shuffle. Yup. Shit. All right. Well, that didn't do anything. Though I guess, man, if we had drawn Bowmaster, how good would Bowmaster have been with Black Lotus? Whoops. All right, how good is their one first bizarre activation? I'm never casting the Bowmaster in this game, unfortunately, right? I can't imagine casting a Bowmaster in this game. I'd love to. Double bizarre. Like, one, one fetch land lets us play Death Shadow and maybe, like, wall off their army. Stop telling me to just draw different cards. I can't do that. I don't have the power to do that. Ah! I hate this deck trap. This this is this might be one of the worst decks I've ever created. It is so bad. This deck is horrible. It's so bad. <laughs> Get me. Yo, imagine if they like pitch a fury and then we reanimate a fury. Oh, I don't know. If it, I, I don't think it's the scam part as much as it's the blue cards and the shadows. But it could be the scam part too. We did draw four reanimates in the very first game of this tournament. So maybe this, maybe it was.
All right, this game is totally still winnable, he said. Did they always have it? They always, they always have it. It's crazy. It's cr it's just crazy. It's fine. Everything's fine. They just pitched triple squee. All right, their last card in hand is a master of death. So if we, oh, we get to concede. Fun, good time. Awesome. We got a battler. Oh, I will absolutely put an 05 up on YouTube. Do not worry. Do not. Oh, I, I didn't stop recording. God damn it. Whatever, we're going to play through it. I have to remember to... I have to remember to cut it out. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just leave it in. Who cares? All right. This is a keeper for sure. We got force. Hopefully they'll play. Oh, God. What if they're on initiative here? Imagine how good it'll be if they're on initiative. Come on, Taniguchi. Why'd you do this? Like, if they're on initiative, their creature resolves. We snuff it and reanimate it. Take the initiative. Oh. Oh. How good would that have been? Why do I have to play against all non-initiative decks? <laughs> Bring back the initiative. What is the one? Are we going to get Oath of Druids? Oh. Alright, new plan. I was going to Demonic, but now I'm going to Ancestral. I'm just going to uh, wait, I think. Like, if they fetched, then maybe I would go so I can't get Pyroed. Oh, now I can get Hole Breacher, I guess. I guess I can just keep waiting. Good old fashioned blue mirror. What do you think about upkeep ancestral here? Still looks bad. All right, I, I do think I'm going to end step ancestral just because we need to make use of our mana. We don't have another land. They all breach. We have days, right? Mm, all right. I assume we're getting fluster stormed. Ooh, underground sea, tropical island. Yeah. I'd simply snuff out the whole breacher. Allowable. All right. You've bested me in this arena. They're only at four cards, though. What do you think about, like, demonic for grief? Grief pitch snuff out, reanimate grief, take their two best cards, leave us with Force of Will, Days, Death Shadow. Seems quite good, right? What other options do we have? Gush, pretty good. I, I came here to scam. Show me your secrets, opponent. Show me. What do you have? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Don't mind if I take force. What? All right, all right, all right. That, Sean's seen the line. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. 
I will be taking force with my force. They do have an Oko, but uh, we're going to get an Atraxa trigger, so. I would like your Atraxa, please. We're never attacking with Atraxa. It's becoming an Elk. Uh, Force... Ponder, Wasteland, Grief? Nah, Shadow number two. Yeah. I guess we could just Grief the Oko. That's not bad either. Hmm. I think an Atraxa should... Atraxa with Force Backup is probably good enough. Yeah. Yeah, I, I vibe with that line. <laughs> they're, they're off it. They're off it. They are off it. All right, here's the scam package at work. You love to see it. Yeah, I, I think I vibe with Grief, take their Oko, leave them with no cards, and then we have Forcible Blue Card Atraxa. That's probably better than them, like... Resolving Oko. I mean, we could force Oko, but we could play like double Death Shadow. That's not even faster, right? Yeah, hey, this is this is fine. No matter what we do, we probably win there. But all right, we don't have any uh, cages or anything. I mean, reanimating my opponent's things is probably my favorite part of of the grief reanimate packet. Like. When you play and and you do like grief pitch something reanimate grief it does feel good. But when you do something like grief take their best creature reanimate it that also feels very good. So I'm thinking fluster negation take out snuff out take out I mean we can't really beat a resolved Atraxa anyways. Do we need Dress Down? Doesn't feel like it. Like Dress Downing Atraxa is probably not something we're interested in. Let's try this. Seems fine. Are we could we possibly win a, win a match with our deck? Seems unlikely. Can't imagine I'm supposed to mulligan this. Dress down is that sweet sweet combo with Death Shadow. You need me in the prelim. That sounds nice. Hey chat, go play the prelim. It's dual. That's fireable. I'm too busy losing with bad decks, Slasher. I can't I can't be I can't be in prelims. I hate getting cards ready for paper magic. I really, really dislike it. Partially why I don't own very much. I still own a lot of magic cards, but I don't buy very many new magic cards anymore. Though I did buy all of Modern Amulet, just... I don't know why I did that. Yo, is Spell Pierce about to get the value? Is Spell Pierce about to achieve maximum value? Oh, please. Please, please, please. Allow me this moment. Why can't I be allowed this moment? Where are my dazes? I guess, 
I have to... Oh, I guess this is always going to be a May. So even if I did it... Yeah. I should... I, this exposes me to um, Spell Pierce. I shouldn't have done it. But I was thinking that maybe if I didn't do it on my end step, they wouldn't... Like, they, maybe they wish, wouldn't put something in or something like that. But they can always choose not to put something in. I mean, they're going to put something in. They are playing the show and tell version. I mean, we just can't beat this Atraxa, though, right? I guess there was no reason I couldn't have wastelanded them. Seven, gain a life. I guess we can draw time walk. No, not even. I don't know. Oh, this doesn't even help me. All right. What? <laughs> Shame concede. All right. My opponent didn't block. For some oh, they are going to block. All right. That was not a good attack for what it's worth. <laughs> my opponent can just gain seven life off that. Maybe they mill out. That's an that's an avenue of to victory here. They have eight cards left in their deck. Okay. Though we can no longer reanimate an Atraxa. So that doesn't help. Every card they take out here leaves them closer to death. <laughs> You're right, Slasher. I'm a genius. They took Atraxa, Narset, Parter of Veils, Besiege You. They have four cards left in their deck. I guess four is enough cards. How can I win this game? I don't think I can, right? I can draw my own Ancestral into Death Shadow Time Walk. I can Dress Down. Yeah, that's true. Second Dress Down might do it. Would you look at that? It's second dress down right on time. Get in there. All right. Get me out of here. Did your prelim fire? Oh. I can't save that. Unlucky. Oh, I kept it. I didn't keep in a second dress down. Foolish me. Well, we're going to go back. <laughs> I have learned nothing from this exchange, and I will continue to learn nothing from this exchange. I have no idea. Slow night at the office, though. I am at least a little toasty for this shellacking that I am undertaking. This deck is so bad. <laughs> it's okay. I think we can pull through and get some wins. Maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. Keep. Would I rather have a wasteland... A second grief, a street wraith, or a ponder. I think I'd rather just get rid of the street wraith, grief pitch, grief. Or maybe I'd rather get rid of. Yeah, I'd rather get rid of street wraith, grief pitch, grief, reanimate. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, opponent. Keep a show and tell hand. Grief, pitch, grief. Let me scam you. No. They said, no, I will not let you scam me. What does that mean? Guess we'll find out when I reanimate my grief. Show me your hand. <laughs> so their hand was Force, Blue Card, Fluster, Ancestral, Oath, Land. I mean, I have to take Ancestral and hope they don't draw a land, right? <sighs> okay. Oh, this is the worst game of all time! I'd go play TFT if TFT wasn't horrible this patch. All right, whatever, get me out. All right, maybe we, we won't win any. All right, here we go. Fifth and final match of this league. Can I pull something from the ashes? Oh, I got to make sure I make sure... Uh, don't concede don't concede if losing match I'm 0 4. I will concede. Uh okay. Mulligan. Oh my god, it's an ancestral recall with a daze. Let's go. Clap, 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 clap. It's my time, chat. I am I am ready. This is the match we pull through. I'm feeling it. Take two. Go. I think nah, Slasher's just trolling. Don't don't listen to him. No, but we can spiritually win the match. Boom! Man, this deck is horrible. <laughs> What are we doing? I will not daze your sapphire. I will not daze your ponder. It drew a strip mine, so when they play their basic, we can get them. We can get them. I'm ready. They're going to go fetch. Fetch away the bad cards. Fetch a basic. Boom. Strip mine. Tropical Island? What is happening? Yeah, what I think I'm going to do is strip mine the tropical so I can't get flustered. Uh, go to second main. And then go... Why are we playing against my deck again? Wait, wait, isn't this super good for us? It means they have an Atraxa in their hand so we can reanimate their Atraxa. I think we just win, right? So we just float black mana, daze their flash... I guess we don't need to float black mana. But play a black lotus, demonic for grief, grief their Atraxa, and then reanimate it. Whew. 
Oh, they haven't missed that. Unlucky. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? Not cast it? Maybe. Orchard Oath. Damn, we were so close there. <laughs> I should have probably taken two damage. I am definitely making plays at random at this point. That's my bad. I shall, I'll drink more. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is where you come for high quality vintage action. <gasps> Get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, what do we want? Uh, gush. Probe. Dress down. Wasteland. Shadow? No, not shadow. Probably just grief. Oh, I already have a grief. Street Wraith. Hmm. I guess I can... I can't strip mine them this turn, right? No, I can strip mine this turn. So I can strip mine them and then have days instead of gush. So they can't show and tell me. Never mind. We are just going to grief it. Oh, I did already play my land this turn, so I couldn't have wasteland it anyways. Nice. Blue, black, green. Okay, they they can actually hard cast an Atraxa. But we would daze it. That'd be sick. Just gonna wasteland them though. All right. I think we're in the clear here. I think we get a win. I think we get a game win. All of our best things come from just <laughs> reanimating our opponent's Atraxas. Atraxa, best card in our deck. We could theoretically cut our shadows and play Atraxas and reanimates or like more reanimation stuff. Tinka? Tinka? That's a shame, friend. Tinka? All right. All right. That's a game win. Let's go. All right. What did we do last time? We brought in, like, Flusterstorm Negation, and we took out... Snuff out and mystical or something. Oh, we took out dress down. That might have been a mistake. Let's leave dress down in. I like zoned out. Well, the the show and tell attracts a deck I think is both playable and fun and powerful, right? So it's, it's a good combination of the two. It does some very vintagey things. I think I'm just interested in. Hard casting this grief. I don't know why I played that land first. What if I draw strip mine? I think we're dead this game though.
Boom. Mystical tutor for ancestral. Oh, brainstorm. <laughs> ah! Brainstorm, hide their oath, untap oath me. I've made some mistakes. She didn't play around there. One of brainstorm. All of these things are going to end badly for me. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to hide an oath and play an oath, right? Dang, that's so good. Do I try to fight it out again with my dress down? I guess they had orchard anyways, so probably didn't matter. I don't think we can do anything about this. You know what we need? Death marks in our sideboard instead of instead of dismembers and snuff outs. Bring in some death marks. That'll show them. Oh, we're we're going we're going straight to the O five. Adding blue to this deck not a good play. Or maybe it was adding death shadows to this deck not a good play. Or maybe it was both. Oh, right. Yeah, that's bad. All right, I'm off it. They have misstep for death mark. True, true, true. What we really need is go for the throat. That'll do, that'll show them. All right, what do we got? All right, we have the fabled combination Magic the Gathering play of Mox, Sapphire, into Brainstorm. I, I we're so doomed. All right, it's fine. We keep two lands for our gush. We keep a reanimate for when we draw the thought seeds that's not in our deck. Yeah, our cards are are not good. They are not good. This deck feels so much worse than the scam deck. It's crazy. All right, let's get away with these magic cards. Hopefully, we'll find some nice new ones. Every ancestral we've cast, I've just been like, man, we drew three bad cards. Oh wait, wait a second. Wait a second. We have a new chance, new opportunity. Hold up, we drew the good card. Do you believe? Do you believe in upkeep ancestral? Target me. What do you have to say, opponent? Is it a resolver? Played around Flusterstorm. Played around Negation. What can you really do against such card draw? No. Card draw.
Card draw. Card draw. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Three cards in my opponent's hand. Shadow. We don't know they have an Atraxa, though, but we could take their two best cards. It's probably just worth it. Evoke, target you. <gasps> it's mine! Thank you for playing. Man, we're having a kind of a good time for how badly this is going. We Oh, yeah, force time walk. Strip mine, street wraith, grief. No, no I took street wraith. I don't want to take grief though for next turn. Force, time walk, strip mine, grief. Done. Time walk. Strip mine. Untap. Grief your show and tell. Man, our deck is so good. Almost lethal. And then we have hard cast force. They could have drawn the Oath of Druids there. Would have been pretty good. Victory! We won a match! We won a match! Oh, and now we concede. All right, we did it. We did it. We got there. All it took was us to <laughs> reanimate Atraxa twice. Just a little bit. Just took a little bit of reanimating Atraxa. Okay, uh, I think we can safely scrap this deck. I don't actually think any of my plans to make this deck better are good enough to make this deck playable. Like, you can obviously get rid of the grief reanimate package and play preordains and blue spells and more bow masters or whatever and and that deck is like I, you can do it but I, I don't think it's a vintage power level deck i don't really think it's worth exploring um so i think this is this is a safe a safe scrap angle and uh hope you enjoyed that low five content <laughs> subscribe for more <laughs> it's, 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 it's,